Okay, I want to tell you about a problem that I had with my iPad. Um, I have a little five-year-old son, so he likes to put headphones on and listen to his programs while, uh, I don't know, just while he ha watch Netflix and stuff like that. And he accidentally broke off the, um, you probably guessed it, he broke off the headphone jack down inside the headphone port. I tried everything on the internet. I have specialized pliers. Uh, I don't have them around here this second. I have specialized really, really long pliers um, that the tip can actually reach in there, but there's just not enough gripping power. So after trying a bunch of different things to fish it out um, on the web, the one that worked for me was, as you can probably see here already, um, it was to take a Q-tip, and you can see there's the, um, of course you, you I tried both ends without without putting the glue, but uh, you take the um, you take the uh, what do you call that stuffing? No, cotton off the ends, and then what you do is you take a razor blade. I think is best. You take the razor blade and you cut it so it's precise as possible right across, and then um, what you do is. And you can see I spilled a whole bunch of glue here, and I got a whole bunch of over, all over my fingers. And then what's funny is the, the glue here is actually glued to the paper. Um, ah, there we go. And uh, anyway, so I uh, was able to get the, uh, uh, just put enough glue in the tip so that it actually doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't spill over. Kind of try and hold it up when you're doing it, and kind of... Um, squirt through the very small tip that's inside of this, the small tip that's in there. Try to get the glue inside as much as possible inside the, uh, let me get the thing in front of it, there we go. Get the get as much as possible inside the tip, then put it down inside, and I won't do it again because I don't want to break it. Put it down inside, and uh, it'll snap over the end of the part that's broken off um, in here. There's a little nub that will be sticking up, at least on mine, where mine broke. And uh, I would say it broke about, probably about right right there it sticks up to. And um, anyway, so that nub, if you allow it to dry, I let mine sit for like probably like two or three minutes with super glue. That's pretty adequate drying time, but you could wait longer. Be very careful not to get anything on the outside. You want to... Um, when you put the glue in there initially before you stick it inside the iPad, what I did was you can see right here there's some ex extra glue left over. You want to run it over something, either a rag or a piece of paper, and get all the extra glue off so none's sticking out so it doesn't you know, go inside your, your uh, headphone port. Anyways, and then you simply just stick it down in there, let it wait for, oh, I don't know, you know, again, two minutes was what I did probably, and then once it was done, I just whoop, pulled it right out, and uh, it came out uh, as slick as could be. And I'm very happy because that avoids about, I think that I saw quotes online of like 250 bucks to get uh, the iPad fixed. Oh, and by the way, you can see here, plenty of glue all over my fingers. Get ready for that. I don't know how you get uh, the glue off your fingers other than just wait. It just rubs off as your skin cells fall off, I guess. But uh, I'm not, I wouldn't worry about it. Anyways, that was after trying everything that I've, all different things that I read on the web of uh, using, trying to fish it out, trying to use pliers, trying to use the ballpoint pen trick, that all those things didn't work. It was lodged in there too well. Um, or maybe it was just broken off at a point it wasn't big enough for it to catch. But this is what worked for me, and, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I am once again a happy iPadder. Have a good day, and if you like these videos, uh, thumbs up and like and subscribe and all that stuff. Really appreciate it. Have a good day.